Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, you are all awesome. This is the solid gold awesome and every one of you is awesome. Solid gold level. There you go. Want to get that out of the way? Second, so you know, Graphic 45 is having a sale on clearance and I placed an order because some of it is literally 75% off others. Um, they have a couple of new collections and one of them was Dreamland. I got a bunch of stuff from there, what they had. And then they had a full collection of, um, oh, I can't remember. Uh, another one that I didn't pick. And they had a couple pieces from Princess, and they had the the tropical one, and some Joy to the World. So if you're interested, go on over there and check it out because it's a deep clearance. It's only a few things, but you know, if you can get graphic 45 for 75 percent off, then that's that's my my motto that I'm buying. So I will have another um video when that happens, when I comes, I mean, so there you go. Second thing is that Miss Susan Tucker Squad uh, sent me this card. It says, so cool, because she is so cool. Making magic happen. That's how she gets down. So she's come up with this. The Build It, Make It Beautiful Box Challenge. Have fun. Susan. So she sent me this little box. I'm supposed to put it together and make it beautiful. So I will be working on that and hopefully <laughs> get it done before a million years go by because that would make me sad. So just wanted to tell you I will participate and make my box beautiful. So now we have to remove the awesome sign for a minute because what we have to show is super awesome. It is heavy. This is four pounds. It says so right on the front. Here. So I got my tonic Sonic Craft Kit. My tonic mystery. I don't know about bag box. I ordered it. I told you guys about it. Unfortunately, they were sold out, and I'm sorry. Maybe some of you got it, and this is how it came. The only th I didn't open it until just now, but I had my son get the the receipt out because I guess you all know how much it was because I told you it was fifty five dollars. And now I will ask you if it is worth it. Let's look. Ooh, this looks. Wow, okay, let me see, okay, I have to move the box, oh my gosh, it's so heavy, let's do that, and let's, it's in a bag, but it's, it's like falling out of this bag, okay, no spikes, both is acting so crazy today. The smoke alarm needed a new battery, and so it was beeping, and he got all scared. It was so sad. Poor little guy. Okay, I'm going to move this like on top of the box, right, so I can pull stuff out. Okay, these scissors here are trying to pull out. Okay, let's zoom in some more. Tim Holtz haberdashery scissors, high durability, soft grip, six inches, titanium coated blades. <gasps> They're in like a tin. Resistant to rust and corrosion, high durability, titanium coated blades, strengthened for high quality durability, precision ground, ultra sharp blades. Hmm. Wow. These are snazzy. 
I don't have any. I have the red handled ones that are bigger. Those I have. Wow, look at this snazzy box. <laughs> wow, this is my all excited about scissors on a cool box. Well, they seem really nice. What I the only thing I don't like about my red ones is that it's like a serrated edge. And this is clearly a, a straight edge. And yeah, let's see. Cut something on here. Ooh, they cut lovely. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I'm very happy. Am I a crazy person for being this happy about scissors? So yeah, the smoke alarm was chirping and Spike's been upset all day. I don't know. Poor baby. Until I feel so bad for him. He's not usually like that. You know, he thinks he's tough. He runs around, you know, uh, barking and, you know, talking to everybody. He terrorizes the village on a daily basis. Oh my heck, I am running out of room in my life. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Sorry for the up. Okay. Winter Wonderland stencil. Ooh. It's nice. It is a pretty scene. That's what it would look like. Use the Winter Wonderland stencil to create beautiful detailed backgrounds on your designs. There are other ones as well, but this one's a, that's very nice. Oh, there's a lot of this stuff here. Mmm. Okay. Okay. What we got? What we got? Embellishment mousse adds metallic dimension details to your craft project. For a texture finish, apply with a spatula. For a smooth, apply with a cloth. Embellishment mousse is water based, add water to soften the consistency. Anyway, I'm sure it's just super nice paste. I'm not going to break the seal yet. But I'm looking through the side. I think you can see it's not dried up. I don't know if you could, but it seems good. So that's fun. I like that. This is a little tape runner. Look how cute that is though. Come on. It's a mini five millimeters by six meters dotted glue tape. New adhesive runner, smooth dotted glue runner. Huh. So that's nice. So, who doesn't like a little glue runner? I may not use it. I mean, I'll keep it to use eventually, but you know, I can't. don't use a lot of that kind of glue runner kind of stuff because, you know, I need things to really stick. I need really glue or score tape. This is a big bottle of pretty. This is, I can't even, it's glitter something. Okay. I can't even read it through the the glitter. It's a very beautiful bottle and this almost reminds me of like the rose gold collection. Didn't they have one that was kind of like this? It's very pretty. Oh, glitter accents harvest moon. Super pretty. I like that. Okay. I've got a die. Let's look. Ooh. Gates of Atlantis Mosaic Die Set. It has three metal craft dies, stackable with other ones. It's 5.6 by 5.6. It does these three designs, introducing our new mosaic die sets. 
I love that they come in their own little case. But the thing I don't love is that to open it, you have to pop the, the orange thing. I really wanted to open them. Now I'm going to have to nestle. with it. Yep, have to. I may not be doing this for everyone. That's not too bad. Like so you just have to like grab it and open it up. Alright, let's see. Excited. It's like a really pretty die. And obviously it's very stuck in here. So it's like not allowing me to pull it out. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is not at all the hugest pain ever. Come on, thing. There we go. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, it's almost there. I will just, well, it's not going to stay in this case anyway. I should just rip it out because this is starting to be very foolish. Ta -da! Okay, the two middle ones are separate and so is the outside. Look at that. That's beautiful. Even just the half of it on a gatefold. And here are some little directions. Huh. That's why it's the gates of Atlantis. It makes better sense now that I opened it and saw it was two. On the front, it almost just looks like one piece, right? Okay, that was fun. What else? What else? What else? What else? What? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Butterfly blush pretty pop-ups. Eight dies. Verso. Perfectly designed to add extra detail to your cards. Decorate alongside the other ones. The biggest one is three and a half by six point three. How do you open these ones? I don't buy a lot of tonic things, not for not liking them. I just, you know, they're expensive and I did find some at Tuesday morning a hundred years ago, I feel like. And uh, got the men. And they are really, really good dyes. Just cutting this off on the top so we can get in and see what's in here. I don't understand how there's eight. I'm trying to look here. It looks like, look, one, two, three, four. Is there a shadow layer for all of them? Let's see. Wow, oh, this was so much easier. Yes, there's a shadow layer. Oh my gosh, look. Yep, there's a shadow layer. And you can see that the wings and the leaves pop up. Let's see it on here. With the wings and stuff pop up. This is so pretty, isn't it? Wow. You know, I've got so much more in here, too. Let me just tell you that this is like crazy. I'm trying to put this guy away. Go back, go back. Okay, thank you. Put you over here, put you over there. Put you over there. What's next? What's next? Okay, warmest winter wishes. Um, contains five dies. The biggest is 5.4 by 5.3. The Four Seasons Loving Winter Die Set. You know, I think I have the the fall one uh, of this, and it was at Tuesday morning. And what was it about it that made it fall? It had cinnamon sticks and stuff like that. And this one has like berries and stuff. 
Let's go with the inner and the outer for both. How is there five then? Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I have my these are my not good scissors. They they cross over each other on the blade. I usually use these only for sticky stuff. But my big scissors are over there and I'm not getting up. All right, let's see here. Okay, there's the outer layer, the inner layer. Or Miss Winter Wishes. It seems like it's only four pieces. Oh, now there's the inside, outside, and inside. I think they're two separate. All right. So that's pretty. Wow, these are all such big dies, right? Look at the third one. Oh, my goodness. How many more? That meant? What did they say when I got it? I read it to you, too. They said it would have at least X amount of dies and that there would be scissors or something. I should make those anyway. I didn't want to use my new scissors and ruin them. All right. Okay, okay, okay. What's up next? What is this? This is, okay. Floating florals die set. Creates a floating frame measuring four and a quarter by five and a half. Look out for other cuts. All of these beautiful panels and much more. Introducing the new floating die range designed to seemingly hover above your card, giving an amazing floating quality. As four dies, layer in different combos to create different effects. All right, I gotta see it. I wanna see how I can make things look like they're floating. Remember, I got that graphic 45 paper with the bubbles. <laughs> the fairy paper. That's what I saw floating and made me think using it as if I would use the graphic 45 paper so carelessly. I don't think so. Yeah, everybody's going to move. We've got like a, a pile up going on over here. We don't want our Atlantis die set to get lost. This is so super cool. Cool, cool. All right, so I got this. Let's open this guy and check it out. Okay. There's not four dies in here. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Like there's the outside. Oh, okay, look, I could see. Look. Look, can you see this space? This part, okay, there's this piece, which is huge, right? And then this piece here, and then there's a line here, which I think is a separate die, and then the inside die is, an, is another one, I'm missing the fourth one. I have to tear it all apart, but I don't know. Looks pretty cool. I just can't figure it out yet. So I will try it later. I did get out paper, but none of these to see if I was going to do any demonstrating, but I have to come back and do it at another time because I think most of these are too big to put in my um, marquee and my Gemini is over there and it's not here. Oh, look at this guy. Actual size film strip is 5 by 2.75 includes dies to create a perfect retro Photo wallet. Oh, this must be part of, they have one of those, Crafter's Companion has one too, where you can make like a whole memory book. So this must be part of that, but it's just a film strip and looks like a Polaroid frame and some photo corners. And it's got 20 metal dies. I'm not going to open 20 up, but 
new baby. Remember, celebrate on this day. Adore, believe, always, love is. So it's got a lot of sentiments. And look, it looks like these little bits go inside of the film strip. I think that's cute. Hmm. So it includes 20 dies designed to work with your keepsake bookmaker. Yep. So yeah, you can make retro photo frames, decorate. Uh, your keepsake book with a film strip of wonderful memories. You also get two photo corners. So that one's cute. It's cute. Definitely cute. I like it. I like them all. What's not to like? Oh, look. Ooh, I got more scissors. What kind are these? High quality, high durability titanium coated blade. Fine control crafters snip includes protective cap for the safe transport. Oh, okay. Well, let's use our scissors to see if we can cut this. Nice. The back doesn't say anything. Nice. Ooh. These feel like they will be wonderful for doing some cutting. I'm trying to find that piece of paper I had before. A small one, a small piece. Seem to do a good job. Nice. Look what I did. Now I ripped the paper. Okay, let's fix it. We're cutting more. Oh, more. And this isn't the best paper that I've chosen to do this, but yeah, they seem really good. I like them a lot. Okay, let's continue. Oh, I almost forgot my new cap. This snazzy scissors with a little cap. They're like gold. Okay, got more of these. These are Nouveau Drops. They are, they look like pearl, not sparkly. Which is perfectly fine. I mean, certainly not complaining. Oh, look how cute. Vintage Drops. It's got like a little tag. And these are add matte dimensional details to craft projects. You have know, vintage drops. Yeah, I'm sure it's got. Oh, there it is. Uh, vanilla milkshake. Those are awesome. Those would be fun. And this is. What is it? What is it? Oh, is that too? 24 sheets, blue blossom, six by six. Eight designs, six of each, 58 pound paper. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Nice paper. Let's see from the side. It's these colors. I don't want to have it loose. I'm not sure if it's a pack or a, um, a pad. So you don't want to risk it opening that up, but they look nice. Awesome. Wow, wait a minute, what's this? Wow, this is like humongous. 5.9 by 5.9. Six dies. It's your day beautiful bracelet. Bracelet? It doesn't look like a bracelet. Oh my gosh, it looks like a gorgeous doily. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got the shadows, I guess, for each. Hmm. Gotta take a peek. Gotta take a peek. Gotta take a peek. This video is so long. Y'all gonna think I'm a crazy person. Well, nope, you already do, I'm sure. So, why act like I didn't already know that? Okay. Junk. Junk. Okay.
Now that is a die. It's got the outer layer. It's got this inside, but it doesn't look like it cuts out. I think you meant what it said on the thing. Yeah, the inside stays unless you want to put the the rope, this rope one here, or the it's your day into the center. As you can see, the rope is just a small, and it's a, a really nice little doily by itself too. Wow, this one's awesome too. I got all of these humongous eyes. Like, what do I even do? Wow, and you know I can't pass up a wreath or a doily die. These are like crazy amazing. I don't even know why. I am I am thinking I definitely made a good choice in getting this box. And I'm not done. There's more. We got stamps. I love grows for you each day. Tap topper essentials. From the bottom of my heart, wishing you a beautiful day. You're, you are always in my thoughts. Pretty flowers. I am so lucky to have a friend like you. Aw, more pretty flowers. That's sweet. That's a nice one to have. Oh my gosh, there's another one of these. Nubo drops. Let's cut the top off. See, what we got? Oh, we got. These are crystal drops. Add dimension, more detail to your craft projects. And this guy is crystal drops, velvet sage. So we got crystal drops, matte drops, embellishment paste, and like glitter glue. Oh, it's like one of each thing and two scissors and a, a tape runner. Paper stamps, one, two, three, four, five, six dies. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, it seems like there's a bunch of paper left. Let's see what it is. This many packages. So this is Fuchsia Pink, 8.5 by 11, 80 pound, 10 sheets, weave textured. I can see the weave in it, I suppose, is the, you know, you can feel it. So 10 sheets of that. I guess it's double sided. And navy blue, the same. And electric purple, this is mirror card. Wow. Hi. Can you see me? What's up? What's up? Oh, sorry. I put myself too far away. Where am I? Hey. Okay, I can see myself, but you can't. There I am, but I can't turn my head. Otherwise, I don't think you can you see me. Oh, hi. Okay, sorry. Purple mirror card. Five sheets. Awesome. Ooh, look at this. Spice basket. Handcrafted cotton papers. Wow, five sheets. That's beautiful. Oh, that makes a perfect front cover of a book. Oh, I wonder if there's other colors in there. Huh. And last, Salmon Harlequin. Luxury embossed, embossed card. Contains five sheets. And you can feel it, and it's even got like the, the little like stitching in, in the pattern. And that, everybody, is what I got in my tonic mystery bag. And I'd love to hear what you guys think. Do you think it was worth $55? Do you think it wasn't? I personally am thrilled with this mystery bag it had so much awesome i just i am i am very happy i think it was worth it personally but it's not about what i think i want to know what you think what all of you think did you think this was awesome did you think no nah, really fill me in let me know 
And um, don't forget about, I'm trying to get these guys together so I can count stuff. Um, the Rapid 45 sale, if you're into that. And I just like to let everybody know. So nobody gets mad. Oh, Spike's terrorizing the village. Hooray. I guess he's feeling better. <laughs> So I got a lot of paper, I got a stencil, I got six dies, one stamp set, and all of these other things. So I think it was a good day. So thank you all so much for watching, for visiting, for saying hi to me and Spike, for checking out my mystery book from Tonic. And if you're here, you're awesome. You all know it. The gold awesome was out earlier. Right now it's hidden underneath packaging but you're all awesome and I am so grateful to all of you for coming checking out my videos and saying such nice things and I hope you have a wonderful weekend I will be back next with the end and the winner for hashtag no paper left behind for July and that's it so Enjoy your evening, and thanks so much again, everyone. Stay awesome. Bye.